What's up, YouTube? My man, how's it going? So Ryan Trahan was exposed. Of course, my favorite YouTuber gets exposed when he's really popping off. I really hope it's not an EDP situation because these allegations could get him arrested. If you guys don't know who Ryan Trahan is, he's an American YouTuber who's mostly known for his series surviving three days, a week, and recently a month, only on a penny. Literally the only thing in my wallet right now. Ignore my nails, I tried to kill someone. And recently, this YouTuber named Yatab uploaded four videos on Ryan Trahan. So we're going to be looking at these together. So let's see what he has to say. All right, guys, this is some pretty crazy news. So Ryan Trahan, a really popular YouTube, 7.42 million subscribers, just made a video called I Survived on One Penny for 30 Days. And unfortunately, I do not know if he's going to be able to finish this challenge because of some allegations that will probably be put up against him. Okay, so for context, Ryan Chan is trying to cross America to give Mr. Beast a penny because apparently they're going extinct in a few years. And Yutab believes that he won't be able to complete the challenge because of some illegal behavior. I don't know why I put quotes over that, but Yutab goes on to explain that Ryan could possibly get arrested because you cannot sell water in public without a vendor's license. He does not have a vendor's license so he's he technically cannot be selling water on the los angeles area like this i just looked it up and there's a fine it's it's it's, it's i literally can't take this dude seriously if he's gonna keep stuttering and repeating everything he's saying five thousand dollar fine first off this dude subscribed to himself on his private account that's like subscribing to james charles in 2022 what? imagine being subscribed to yourself on your private account and second off this actually is illegal i didn't actually know I really hope that Ryan has a vendor's license because if not officer right there He's been doing it for a while and I doubt that he's gonna get arrested for this. I think he's good I think he's fine every time he asks somebody to buy it. That's a five thousand dollar fine Stop the cap so far. He's racked up about probably seventy five thousand dollars So I actually looked this up and I literally didn't find anything that proves it's correct I really doubt that five thousand dollars will be added per person he asks But I did find out that the city or state would ask how much business was generated during in that time period and it asked us to find that was based on a percentage of the revenue that he got he owes about two hundred thousand dollars to the u.s government so no he does not owe that much money and i don't know why but he goes on to say that ryan bought a cooler and asked if it was refundable implying that he was going to give it back when he was done like he was illegal technically it wouldn't be illegal but i don't know how nice it would be and this guy looks pretty nice and i'm not i'm not saying that he intentionally did all this because he's pretty nice if you just look at him He's just kind of funny and kind of cute. Why did you say that like it was a completely normal sentence? Can't tell if this dude wants justice or a boyfriend. I, I'm so confused. <laughs> this is the kind of person to simp for a serial killer. Committing mass murder is totally fine, but it's not his fault. He's attractive. You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. <laughs> and also, one more thing that I didn't forget to mention is he doesn't even make it to Mr. Beast. It's only one day that he did this whole challenge, so he still has 29 days. Okay, I know for a fact this dude is trolling at the end because he cannot be this stupid. He literally said that in the challenge, all of these videos will be recorded in real time and uploaded in real time. Hate that I had to explain that. But there's another video. We're going to react to the next one. In this video, I really want to expose why this challenge is fake. I'm just going to say what's what's fake about it so i survived on one penny for 30 days well as you can see here in the bottom left hand corner he has 114 dollars so right off the bat the title is just misleading the entire goal for this video is to cross america by working up from a penny to get the money to cross america whoever told this man that you can cross america with a penny i want to smack you i hope vecna from stranger things season four finds you and kills you. Sleep with one eye open tonight. You are not safe. And I think you guys know misleading titles are just jacked up. Really what I want to get into is some of the stages in this video. You know, Ryan's really cute. Oh my god, not this again, bro. Not the I'm not gonna make that stupid joke again. Get told this guy wants justice or a boyfriend. Shut up and stuff, and he likes to talk to people. But I started to find out that a lot of the people that he's talking to is like uh, what was that sound you just made? Well, he knows them. So this is Verena. As you can see, he's talking to somebody off camera. And then there's Verena. Okay, for one, he was talking to Preston, his cameraman. If you were actually watching the videos, you probably know that Preston's the cameraman. Second, he literally just met her. What? How does that prove your point? How does that prove your point that this video is fake? Okay, now look at this. I want to show you something. You see, 
see this this tree behind him like a palm tree where's the palm tree there's no palm tree there so this is like directly behind him right so then when the camera changes this palm tree is not it's just like an oak tree right here ah uh, yes the editing technique that literally every editor uses just love it when editors fake their videos with just a simple cut. I can't believe I've never tried it. I could've just faked my own videos with a simple cut. This challenge that he's doing isn't really real because he's already started with like clothes on his back. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. It's not Homeless Simulator 2.0. I think this dude forgot the rules already. All profit literally comes from the penny. That was literally rule number one. He literally explained that in the first video. How did he forget that? I don't know why I said my own name for that stupid joke. And he already started with like a lot of things that were helping him. Like he's a famous person and he's also really cute. I thought he was just as So when you're trying to do things like, like convince people to give you money or convince people to trade with you, it's like when you're really cute, it's a lot easier. So he needs to do something about that if he wants to make this challenge better for all of us is he needs to be less cute when he does that because that's not right because that's cheating then he's meeting fans like this on the boat how many times do i have to tell you that they just wait did he just say a boat or on the bus and look he has 105 dollars and then when i fast forward to this bit like halfway through the video it's still at 105 dollars but also wait till he sees the craziest part of this video and i gotta show you this and listen if you can just read between the lines like a biggest thing about this video and really anything is if you just read between the lines you will see what what i'm trying to say but i just can't say it okay so this dude is just making up things as he goes how did i not see this until now he's literally just making up things until the video is over this is his bedroom and he says he got this for 100 for 17 dollars and i can't play the audio because i don't want to make copyright strike but he says he got this hotel room for 17 dollars and i can tell you right now that the hotel the room that i'm staying in and i'll show you guys really quick the hotel room guys that i'm staying in is not 17 dollars he showed his face he showed his face Dude, oh my god. Look at this dude's receding hairline with a bang, bro. I'm, I can't even talk, bro. I'm wearing a cap. I love how he makes a joke that every hotel is the same price. Like he's not living in a completely different state. It's a lot more. So make sure that you comment on this video that hey that's not seven oh, he just spent some money. He just he just lied. Um so look he's got eighty five dollars and then the next scene it changes and then boom jumps to $77. I don't know why he said jump to $77 when it clearly went down. That was the price for the hotel, not the amount of money he got. It literally says $825 down below. How did you miss that? Then this dude continues to talk about the fundraiser and gambling and then I find out that this dude's self-aware. And that's what makes me mad is people post these videos just for views, just to get money. Dude's literally a troll. Next video. He's gonna travel across the world to see Mr. Beast. But right now he's in the airport and he's supposed to be doing this all off of one penny and he's got like $17 to his name. The video says I survived on one penny for 30 days, day nine, but he's got $17. So really the title of this video should be I survived on $17, day nine of 30. So right off the bat, this video is clickbait. He's literally saying the same thing he did in the previous video. And I hate that I had to cut this so perfectly so that he sounded clear and concise. Okay, so this is what's confusing me. Look, he's got a rental car. He's checking it out. He's showing it off. But look, at the same time, he's in the airport and now he's got a rental car for free. I love how he says at the same time, rewinds the video, then fast forward back where he was and then says that he got a free car. Now, I don't know about you or me, but you have to be 25 to get a rental car and I know he's not 25. Okay, first off, you actually need to be at least 20 years old to get a rental car and Ryan Chahan is 23. Bro is just lying at this point. And this is where I think he probably would get arrested or something. Like Uber East does not let you use rental cars to deliver. You have to get your car registered, with the CMV and get it all set up. And Dude is lying again. Okay, I know this is a lie because you're not required to use a vehicle for Uber Eats. So it doesn't matter if it's a rental car or not. Now that's not the biggest issue or gripe that I have with this whole challenge, which I'm going to get to here in a little bit. As you can see, there's this video, I mean, a lot of it, he's even eating the Uber Eats chicken sandwich. So, I mean, 
All in all, I don't think you should be eating your customer's stuff. I love how you can clearly see that he skips the part where he goes to McDonald's and gets a burger and pretends that it was an order for a customer to make Ryan look bad. I just think that's really funny. I'm waiting for this dude to be like, you know, I'm not saying he's a bad person because he's really cute and funny because again, <laughs> Hope you was just as horrible. Then dude gets mad that there's no theme song for this series when there clearly is and tries to make one himself. It's day number two of 30 and I gotta go find Mr. Beast in North Carolina even though my videos are so entertaining. And this next video is literally just him making a parody of Ryan Trahan's video. It's so boring and cringy. Oh my god. Gosh. Okay, so while I was editing and recording this video, he uploaded another one. So before I end this video, I'm gonna do another one. So his first thing is I survived on one penny for 30 days. And if you click on this video right here, you will see something that I think will shock you to your core. He has Mr. Beast in the thumbnail, but I've watched this video about 10 times and there is no Mr. Beast in this video. Wow, that shocks me to my core. I can't believe Ryan Trahan would deep fake Mr. Beast's face into a video and lie that he was in it. So it's day 11 and he says he's starting from one penny and if you click on it, it does show that he started from one penny, but if you go to the day before and click on that challenge, he is $39. So that's a big gripe that I have with this challenge, but what I really wanted to get into was the thumbnail of this. Okay, ignore everything he just said, but look look, look what he's about to show you. Look what he's about to show us. As you can see, he's covered in thumbnails. Oh and my if God. you click on Google Images and look at Mr. Beast thumbnail, he's basically copying Mr. Beast for pennies instead of or beads it's pennies instead of mr beast it's ryan trahan you guys know he's not cl he's clearly not copying him so i'm not going to explain this you'd have to have some degree in stupidity to actually believe this man after that he makes some much stupid claims that aren't even true and starts making a thumbnail in photoshop like a literal 10 year old and that's literally the end of the video and so was ryan trahan exposed probably not i mean i hope that he has a vendor's license to actually do that stuff but if not I really hope he does not face any legal charges. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, check out Small Sticks video. It is really hilarious. Also, follow my Instagram. I'm trying to get a thousand followers before the end of the year. And subscribe and not your depression. Peace.